This video gives an overview on how single molecule real-time sequencing, another type of next generational sequencing, works. Single molecule real-time sequencing by the Pacific Biosciences Company uses a completely different method than most other next generational sequencing. What makes it unique is that this method uses actual DNA polymerase to sequence it and sequences at an enzymatic speed. The way they can do this is that they have these little mouths where DNA sequences come in where the DNA polymerase is attached and then it will start sequencing at enzymatic speed. The next generation sequencing takes days to weeks to do a run, whereas sequencing at this enzymatic rate allows for sequences to be finished in minutes to weeks, at about 10 base pairs per second. Another difference is that they added the fluorescent probe not to the nucleoside part of the nucleotide, but to the phosphate base part of the nucleotide. This makes a smaller molecule and allows it to go through sequencing much more efficiently and faster. The first step is that the DNA template library needs to be prepared. The DNA template library consists of double-stranded fragments of DNA from about 250 base pairs to 20 kilobase pairs in length and is single-stranded with end adapters. Primers are then annealed to the end adapters and bound with polymerase. The end adapters make the double-stranded DNA fragments into circular templates on which the polymerase will continue to run until it becomes inactive or until the end of the observation period. A read containing multiple passes around the circular template can be condensed into a higher accuracy consensus sequence. In this picture, you can see the complex of a DNA template and active polymerase that is immobilized at the bottom of the ZMW. In step two, the phospholinked nucleotides are introduced into the chamber of the ZMW. With an active polymerase immobilized at the bottom of each ZMW, nucleotides diffuse into the ZMW chamber. In order to detect incorporation events and identify the base, of the, each of the four nucleotides of adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine, they are labeled with a different fluorescent dye, having a distinct emission spectrum. Since the excitation illumination is directed to the bottom of the ZMW, nucleotides held by the polymerase prior to incorporation emit an extended signal that identifies the base being incorporated.